Welcome to my class again. Uh, last week, uh, we studied about the uh, what is the language, talking about Greek language. Uh, based upon the Bible, uh, we were talking about Isaiah chapter 55. And God's thought and God's way is different from my thought and my way. So in order to understand the word of God, because word of God is the uh, God's word, and we have to understand the Bible through the Bible. And also we are study about the, uh, the brief history about uh, Koine Greek that is written in the New Testament. And we are keep continue to move on to the next subject. Today uh, we are going to study uh, Greek alphabet. So here Greek means, uh, keep in mind all the time, is Koine dialect, which is Koine Greek. They're written in the New Testament. Uh, as you look at the screen here, Greek alphabet, and we see the capital letter and then small letter, so lowercase and then capital, and then we see the name here, and then this is the name of the alphabet with English, and then this one, name of the alphabet uh, in Greek, Koine Greek, and then pronunciation, of this alphabet and then the numeric value and then I'm going to explain about numeric value later on so uh, Greek character Greek alphabet is 24 character 24 alphabet and then 17 alphabet is the consonant and then uh, 7 alphabet is vowel so Greek consists of the consonant and vowel but just for your information, when we study Hebrew, Hebrew alphabet is only consonant. The vowel mark, which called the Hebrew language nikudat, and that is the uh, just vowel mark, and then Mesorates, uh, they invent, uh, invented the uh, uh, vowel mark uh, for the convenience of to pronounce the word correctly. So. Hebrew alphabet is only consonant, but Greek alphabet, same as English. It consists of the uh, 17 consonant and 7 vowels. And I have another uh, the piece of paper in, inside the uh, textbook so you can practice to write. So during the weekdays, after we learn Greek alphabet, and practice to practice uh, writing. So not only you uh, memorize the uh, Greek alphabet, but also you need to memorize the pronunciation so we can pronounce the word and then eventually and read the sentence without having any problem. So then now let's start with one by one, the Greek uh, Koine, Greek alphabet. Uh, the first word, first word, so name of the alphabet is Alpha, alpha. So the alpha, the pronunciation is ah. That is the vowel ah sound. And then next one, beta, beta. beta. And then pronunciation is b, like b, b in English. And uh, that is the consonant word, consonant pronunciation. And then, next one, next alphabet. Gamma. 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 Gamma is the G pronunciation in English. G. G. And next one. Delta. 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 The pronunciation. D in English. Like a David. Delta. And then, next alphabet is the vowel. And the name of the alphabet is? Epsilon. 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 Epsilon is the vowel. Uh, the English pronunciation is E. E. And then Epsilon is E sound. And then next one, the name of the alphabet? Zeta. 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 So Zeta is Z or Z sound, like in English, Zion, Zebra. So Z sound, consonant. 
And then next alphabet. Eta. Eta. Eta is another vowel. But we already learned the uh, epsilon here. So epsilon is the uh, short a sound. And then eta is the same a sound, but it is long a sound compared with the uh, epsilon. Both of them is the S sound, epsilon and eta. But epsilon is the short A. And then eta is long A sound. And next one. Theta. 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 So theta is, in English, TH sound. Like a theme. Thought. So TH sound in English. And then next one. Iota. Iota. Iota is another vowel. The sound is E sound. E. Iota is E. And then next one. Kappa. Kappa. Kappa is the consonant. English pronunciation is K sound. Like a king. So K sound. And then next one. Lambda. 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 Lambda is another consonant. And then the pronunciation is L sound. For example, like a light. Light. So Christos Jesus says on Matthew chapter 5, you are the light of the world. Because the Christos Jesus, he himself is true light. True light. So light. Like a lambda is English sound, L sound, like a light. And next one. Me. 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 Yeah. Me. Me. And then the pronunciation is, in English, M sound. M. And then next sound. Me. 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 Uh, in English, pronunciation is N. N sound. And then next alphabet. Kushi. Kushi. I used to call this alphabet as a double consonant because it's two consonant sound, right? K sound and S sound in English. So, kus, 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 kus. So, the name of the alphabet is kushi. And then the pronunciation is kus. Like in English, alphabet A, X. X, 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 right? X, X sound. And then next one is the vowel and name of the alphabet? Omicron. 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 Omicron is O sound, O in English. And then next one? P. 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 The name of the alphabet is P. And then the pronunciation in English is P, P sound. And then next alphabet? Rho. 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 And it looks like an English P, but it is not P, okay? So do not confuse on this alphabet. And then the name of the alphabet is Rho. And then in English pronunciation is R sound, R. Like a Romeo, R. And then next one. Rho. So we just did rho. Mm -hmm. And then sigma. Sigma. And then I put the uh, sigma. There's a two different uh, form. Okay? So we are going to learn later on more, further uh, later. But sigma has the two different form of alphabet. And then one is we call the regular form. And then the, this sigma is the finer sigma that located in the last alphabet in, in the world in case of sigma needs to be written down. So sigma, the pronunciation sigma is S sound in English. And next alphabet? Tau. 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 The name of the alphabet is Tau. And then the pronunciation in English? T sound. T sound. And then next one is the vowel and the name of the alphabet? Wipsilon. Wipsilon. So name of the alphabet is Wipsilon. 
And then the pronunciation is we. We sound. We. Okay? We. And then next alphabet. P. 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 So name of the alphabet is P. The pronunciation is PH sound. Mm -hmm. Like a phone. Like a telephone. Telephone. Phone. PH sound. And then next one. Key. 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 So name of the alphabet is key. And then the English pronunciation is CH sound. So when you hear my uh, lecture, I used to say uh, Christos Jesus, which means Christ Jesus in English pronunciation. So when we say Christos, in English says start with the CH, right? Christ. So there is a Christos start from key. This one, Christos. Christos. So it is CH sound. And then next one. Pushy. 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 So same as the cushy before. And this one is also double consonant. Which is P, S put together. So puss. Puss. Right? Puss. Pronunciation is puss. Pushy. And then last alphabet. Omega. 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 Omega is the O sound. But we already had the O sound. That is the Omicron, right? Omicron is the short O sound. And then the last word, Omega. Omega is the long O sound. So in English, uh, like, like in uh, Greek, like I just mentioned in the beginning, 17 consonants and 7 vowels. Those 7 vowels are A, E, E, O, we basically those five vowel sound and then the rest of them is the consonant and then talking about the numeric number numeric value here so each alphabet as you see here alpha numeric value is one and then beta two and so on okay so coin a greek and they express the number with their alphabet. So each country has their own numbers in all times. Depends on their history. So for example, we have a Roman numeral, right? Roman, Roman numeral. And then uh, Korea also has our own uh, number. So the Greek, Koine Greek also express the number using the alphabet. But the number here, we call the Arabic number, Arabic number. But it originally, originally, originally comes from the Hindu numeral, which is the India, India. So before those number is widely used throughout the world, and then Koine dialect also, instead of using this number, they use the alphabet. For example, expression of number 12. Number 12. 12 is 10 and 2, right? So you see 10 is iota. And then 2 is beta. So when you express uh, number 12, you put the iota and then beta. So that is the expression of number 12. 12. So this number does not represent the uh, absolute value. It just express the number, express the number. But when you see here, you may aware number is missed. You see between the five and seven, there is no six. There is no six, right? And then in old Greek, the numeric six, the alphabet has existed. But in Koine dialect, it doesn't exist. So I'm going to more explain about that. As you may know, when we go to the Revelation chapter 13, verse 18, it says 666. So we have a 60. Look at the 60 is 
Kishi is the expression of 60. And then the 600, you see here, 600 is Ki. But there is no 6. So I'm going to uh, introduce about the meaning of 666 after we finish the uh, uh, alphabet and then writing and then song, okay? So let's practice one more time before we move to uh, alphabet song. Just quick looking at it again. The first one, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, zeta, eta, theta, iota, kappa, lambda, mi, ni, kushi, omicron, p, rho, sigma, tau, Epsilon, phi, ki, pushi, omega. So the first alphabet in Greek is alpha. Last alphabet in Greek is omega. That's why when we go to the Revelation, book of Revelation, Christos Jesus and God says, I am the alpha and omega. I am the begin and end right so there is a alpha omega beginning of the alphabet and then the last alphabet omega now uh, in our textbook we have the uh, greek alphabet song alphabet song and then we make this alphabet song to easy to memorize the alphabet so it will be a, a very uh, convenient if you memorize the Greek alphabet and practice the song so instead of try to memorize and then if you memorize a song it will be automatically you can memorize okay so now I'm going to sing so you might just follow what I'm singing Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta Eta, theta, iota, kappa, lambda, mini. Kushi, omicron, pi, rho, sigma, tau. Ypsilon, phi, ki, pushi, omega. It's not that hard. So let's practice a couple more times and then we can move to the next page alpha beta gamma delta epsilon zeta eta theta iota kappa lambda mini kushi omicron pi rho sigma tau epsilon phi ki pushi omega Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mini, Kushi, Omicron, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Ypsilon, Pi, Ki, Pushi, Omega. So, I'm going to recording this video and put it into my YouTube channel. So as you listen more and more, and then you can uh, memorize Greek alphabet and easily, okay? You shouldn't have any problem. Let's move to uh, practice Greek alphabet. Let's practice. And then I put the numbers on each alphabet for writing. You don't have to be exactly follow this order. And, but it will be better to follow this order to, to write the alphabet as close as possible as it so, is as shown in the textbook here. So the first one, what is the name of the alphabet? Alpha. 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 One, 
two. And then some people start from here. Okay? One, two. So either or, whatever uh, order you feel more comfortable. And then as long as you make this form. Okay? Good to go. So alpha, as we learned already, what's the pronunciation? Ah, 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 which is the vowel sound, ah. And then next one, one, two, one, two. What's the name? Beta, pronunciation, B sound. And next one, one, two, one, two. Gamma, name of the alphabet, gamma. Pronunciation, G sound, right? G sound. Next one, one, two, one, two. Delta, the pronunciation is in English, G sound. D sound. Ah, yes, D sound, like a David. Mm -hmm. huh? David. And then next one is a epsilon, which is the vowel sound, A sound. One, two, one, two. Some people, instead of like this, some people writing eta like this. Okay? So, this one, this one, it's okay. Okay? So, one, two, or one, two. Okay? So, eta, eta. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon. We learned that, right? We learned the song. And next one is zeta. zeta. So you need to make a one dot here. One, two. Okay? Coming all the way down here, right? One, two. One, two. So this is zeta. English sound Z. Like a zebra, giant. Next one is eta. The sound is a sound, right? A. So epsilon, eta, both of them is a sound. And then the short a and long a sound. So writing is one, two. One, two. So eta. And then next one, theta. Theta, one, two. You, as you know, theta, the sound is TH sound, right? So that's the shape. This is a mouth. Mm -hmm. And then, tongue. You put the tongue between the teeth, right? Theta, 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 TH sound. So one, two, okay? And next one, yota, yota, yota. Iota is the smallest alphabet in Greek alphabet. Iota. Iota. Okay. So Iota pronunciation is E sound, which is a vowel sound. And then next one, Kappa. One, two, three. Like an English K, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, zeta, eta, theta, iota, kappa. So we learn, practice the song. Next line. The name of the alphabet? Lambda. Lambda. One, two. Some people start from here. One, two. Or start from here. One, two. Two. Either or is fine. Mm -hmm. So lambda. Mm -hmm. The pronunciation is L sound. L. L. And then next one. One, two, three. One, two, three. The name of the alphabet? Me. Me. The pronunciation is M. M sound in English. And then next one. One, Two, one, two. The name of the alphabet? Ni, ni. The pronunciation is N, N sound in English. And next one, it's got two knots, right? The zeta has one knot, as you see here. Zeta, zeta. 
And then this one we call the name of the alphabet is Kushi. The pronunciation is KS, right? KS, KS sound. This has two knots, okay? One, two, okay? One, two. So you need to make a two knots here, okay? One, two, okay? So Kushi, Kushi. And then also one thing I would like to mention is Ni, you see the bottom is a sharp, right? But when you go to the gamma, gamma, you need to make sure cross on the bottom, okay? Yes, it's still the sharp, this one too, but on the gamma, you need to cross on the bottom. But ni doesn't cross, right? Ni, just straight coming down, make a sharp, and then coming up like this, right? Ni, and then kushi. Okay? And then next one is Omicron. Omicron is O sound. It's the vowel. So O. Very easy, right? In English, O, same as O sound. So, Lambda mini kushi Omicron. Okay? And then, next line. Next one is one, two, three. So name of the alphabet, P, P. In English, in, in, uh, in math class, when you go to school, and uh, this, is, this used to call the one pi, right? When you calculate the uh, circle, and then uh, we used to call the pi, but the name of the alphabet is not pi, there is P, okay? Make sure P, and then sound is, in English, P sound, right? P. Next one, one, two. One, two. The name of the alphabet, Rho, Rho. The sound, the pronunciation is R sound in English, R. And then next one, as we learned already, Sigma has the two different form, right? So one is the regular form, the other one is binary form. And then the regular form Sigma start from here, one, two, okay? Some people start from here, one, two. Either or is fine, as long as you writing as close as like this, okay? So, one, two, four, one, two, okay? Sigma, and the pronunciation sigma is S sound in English, right? And then the final form sigma, it looks like a S, but the upper portion is more round shape, bigger shape, bigger round, and then bottom, right? So, one, two, one, two. So both of them is sigma. Next one is tau. One, two. One, two. So tau, the name, and then pronunciation is T sound in English, T. And then next one is the vowel, and then name of the alphabet, Ypsilon, Ypsilon, and pronunciation is V sound, right? V. And then the V, one, one. Make sure this is the round shape on the bottom, right? So the gamma was crossed. And then V is sharp, right, on the bottom. And then Ypsilon is round on the bottom, right? Round. V. So Ypsilon. And next one, Phi. Right? Phi. Phi. Okay? So one, two. One, two. And then next one is key. Key. One, two. One, two. Okay. Key. Key. And then next one is double consonant, right? Double consonant. The name of the alphabet? Push. Pushy. Push. Which is the sound is P S sound. Puss. 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 Pushy. Okay, pushy. So one, two, one, two. Okay, pushy, pushy. And then the last one, last one is omega. One, two, one, two. The sound pronunciation in omega is O sound, which is a long O sound, right? And omicron is a short O. 
omega is long or sound. So, Piro Sigma Tau, Wipsilon Piki, Pushi Omega. Easy, right? Yes. And then let's move to the next page, page 6. Pronunciation. Okay. The Greek character is set to 24. Three more characters were in Old Greek. So Koine Greek, that written in New Testament, and those three alphabet does not exist because it is exist in Old Greek. Okay? So when we learn the history of uh, Greek language, before the Koine period, and there was a classical period, right? And then those three letters is in the Old Greek, that time. The first one, the shape is this, okay, or this. And then the name is Pau or Digamma. This is the one that missed number six. Number six. That's why in uh, Revelation chapter 13, like I just mentioned, 666, the number of beasts. So we can, we shouldn't understand uh, that number as a number concept. Okay? We have to understand that biblical concept. And at the same time, all numbers, we have to understand not as a numbering concept, but as meaning concept. Meaning concept. So not only in the Revelation show 666, but also it show 144,000. I know one of the denomination, and they are saying, oh, when we have 144,000 members, that's 144. So that is understanding the Bible as numeric concept, numbering concept. But Bible has to understand the meaning concept. Okay? That's why Bible written in Hebrew and Greek. All number has the meaning in Hebrew. That's why when we read the New Testament, we also have to understand from the Hebrew number meaning. That way, the Old Testament, New Testament, as a one book, the Word of God. And Word of God can understand as the Word of God, not as Word of Man. Okay? So, it cannot understand as the man's knowledge. It has to understand through the God's knowledge in order to understand the Bible. Okay? So, that is the Digamma, which is the numeric value is 6. And then also, Kopa. Kopa. This one also does not exist in Koine Greek. Kopa number is 90. And then the last one, last alphabet, Sampi. Sampi number, numeric value is 900. So when you go back to the, uh, our alphabet chart that we just learned, you aware number 6, number 90, Number 900 is missed. We can go quick, quickly go there. You see between 5 and 7, okay? So numeric 6, which is a digamma, has missed, right? And then the number 90. Look at here. Between 70, 80, what? 90. And 100 here, right? So 90. 90 was missed, okay? And then the 900, which is the last one, right? After Omega, 900 does not exist, which was some P, right? Some P. And then 90 was Kopa, that, was, that, that is not exist in Koine dialect. So that's why the Koine Greek in New, uh, the New Testament Revelation says, I am the Alpha and Omega. It doesn't say I am the Alpha and some P. Some P is a 900 because it doesn't exist in Koine Greek. Okay? So in order to understand again the Bible, all number has to understand through the Bible. At the same time, number needs to understand as the meaning, not as 
number concept, numeric concept. So let's quick go there. And uh, Revelation 13, 18. And then the verse 1 says, Then I stood on the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and on his horn ten crowns, and on his head a blasphemous, blasphemous name. And then it can keep coming down. Okay. And then verse 4 says, So they worshipped the dragon who gave authority to the beast. So this beast... Got the authority from who? The dragon. So who is the dragon? Dragon is the serpent. Dragon is the Satan. Right? And then 5 said he was given a mouth. Right? From who? The authority. From the dragon. Right? Okay. And then verse 8 says, All who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life, of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. Okay. And then verse 11 says, Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth. So the verse 1 starts talking about the beast coming out of where? The sea, right? And then this is one coming out of the earth. So another beast, right? Okay. He had two horns like a lamb, spoke, uh, spoke like a dragon. dragon. Okay? And he exercises all the authority of the forced beast in his presence and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the forced beast whose deadly wound was healed. So from the dragon, dragon given the authority, the beast coming out of the sea, the beast coming out of the earth. So the beast on the earth and the beast on the sea, right? And then we keep coming down. And 15, he was granted the power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. He causes all, both the small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their forehead. And then no one may buy or sell, except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And then verse 18, it showed the uh, 666, right? Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Okay? So look at the uh, original text here. Hode he Sophia estin. Okay? So the wisdom is here. Okay? Wisdom is here. Ho ekon ton nun. Okay, so ho ekon, the one having, okay, ho ekon, the one having, ton nun, so nun is the nus that translate as understanding, okay, but understanding is shiniemi, shinistemi in Greek word, okay, this nus is not understanding, this nus is intellect, intellect. And King James, understanding. New King James, understanding. Okay, understanding. So here they uh, translate, let him who has understanding, let him. There is no such let him, let him. Okay, look at here. We just learned, puse fijo. Okay, puse fijo. You know, the, this is pushy. We just learned pushy, right? Pushy is P S sound, right? So pus and then eta is a sound, right? So puse. Puse fijo. Puse fijo means count, which is a verb imperative, aorist, active, 
third person singular. Third person singular. So, count. Okay? It's an imperative. It's a command. Okay? But it is not let him. Okay? Which means just count. 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 So, count the number of the beast. Count the number of the beast. So, who can count the number of beast? The one having the intellect. So, you have to have an intellect. So, news is 3563, right? Let's go to the dictionary, 3563. Well, my dictionary, strong number, 3563. News. News is what? The intellect. There is an intellect. But, i.e. the mind, but it's like an intellect. You have to have an intellect. Intellect. Okay? And then the by implication, it says meaning. So, without having an intellect, you don't know the meaning. You don't know the meaning. That's why King James translates news either mind or understanding. Okay? But, the dictionary says intellect. Intellect. So you have to have the intellect. Then, if you have an intellect, what happens? You can count the number of the beast. Okay? So you have to have a whose intellect then? Your intellect or God's intellect? God's intellect, right? So what that meaning is, you have to have the understanding of the word of God, right? So who can understand the word of God? People? who become one with God, who is Christos Jesus. So if you have an intellect of Christos Jesus, then you can count the number of beasts. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. We are going to learn more verses regards with this, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, Aritmos, Aritmos, God, Andropu, Estin, okay? So the number of beasts, Aritmos, Arithmos is number. For number of men. Okay? So number of beast is what? Number of men. Okay? So number of men is number of beast then, right? Kai ho arithmos out to. Okay? And the number. Whose number? His number. His number. So whose number? His number here, as you look at here, neuter, third person, singular. So then who is he? Look at here. Three on. Neuter, right? So his number means beast number, the number of beast. Okay? And then you look at here, kishi, ki, kishi. This is not the sigma, digamma, digamma. But digamma does not exist. Okay? That's why this is wrong sentence. That's why they put on here. Okay? Which is what? Exa koshioi. Okay? Exa koshioi means 600. And then, exen konta. Exen konta is 60. Okay? And then, x. X is 6. That's why here it says 666. Okay? Before we go to 666 meaning, let's look at the uh, news, intellect. Intellect. Which means we have to have an intellect. Without having intellect, we cannot, we are not able to count the number of beasts. We are not able to count the number of men. So this man is what then? Number of men is number of beasts. Which means, beast is man. Man is beast. So from here, we can tell there is a two different category, man, in this world. Okay? So one is the man of beast, whose number is what? 666. And then another man is what? Man of God. So only two different people, two different persons is existing in this world. People who has an intellect of God. 
we can call that person is what? Man of God. Okay? Man of God. And then people who doesn't have an intellect, news. Okay? And we call that person as man of beast. So man of God has the intellect of God. Okay? And then man of beast has the intellect of beast. So this beast received the authority from who? The dragon. Who is the dragon? Dragon is the Satan or the serpent. He is the dragon. Okay? So let's look at the uh, the those uh, uh the, the the this verse this word news how it used in the Bible okay first first of all uh, let's go to the Luke twenty four forty five Luke twenty four and forty five. So this is on the road of the Emmao, right? We know that, right? Okay. And we can we can quit looking at it. Twenty-eight. Then they drew near to the village where they were going, and he indicated that he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is towards evening, and the day is far spent, and he went in to stay with them. So the resurrected Christos Jesus is showing up on the road of the Emmaus. We know this story very well. And then 31, then their eyes were opened, and they knew him, Christos Jesus, and he vanished from their sight. And they said, to one another, did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us on the road and while he opened the scripture to us? So Christos Jesus opened the scripture and explained these people. Okay? So they rose up that very hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven and those who were with them gathered together, saying, The Lord is risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. And they told about the things that happened on the road, on the road of the Emmaus, and how he was known to them in the breaking of bread. Now as they said these things, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were terrified and frightened, because they see the resurrected Christus Jesus now, right? And suppose they had seen a spirit. And he said to them, why are you troubled? And why do you doubt arise in your heart? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hand and his feet. Okay? And then 44, then he said to them, These are the words that I sp spoke to you while I was still with you that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and the prophets and psalm concerning me. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scripture. Look at here. He opened what? Their understanding. Tote dienoiesen. Dienoiesen is what? Dia noigo. We know anoigo is what? Open. Open. When you go to the book of Revelation, whenever the seventh seal is open, it says, Anoigo, Anoigo. And then when you go to the Matthew chapter 5, Christos Jesus went up to the mountain and then disciples came, right? And then he opened his mouth and then taught them, taught the disciple. So the opening process is what? Open the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. So disciple can understand. So seven seal process is the same. Okay? He opened the seal. Because the book is sealed with how many seals? Seven seals, right? He started to open the seven seal, which means he gave the intellect to understand the mystery of the kingdom of God. Because you yourself is what? Close the book. 
in order to become a book of life, those seven seals has to be opened, right? So dia anoigo means, dia means through, through. Through means beginning to the end. It's penetrate, through. So how many through processing for, for the Andropos? Man, from the first datum to become the last datum. So how many days? Seven days. So dia anoigo means through, open through, which means open thoroughly, thoroughly. From the one day to the seventh day, open up all thoroughly. That's what it means. So that's dia anoigo, dia anoigo. So, he opened thoroughly of his living pon nun, ho nus, ho nus, nus, look at the nus, understanding, not understanding, right? Intellect, intellect. So, Christos Jesus opened thoroughly the intellect. So, he gave the intellect to his disciple, disciple, to Shiniemi. Shiniemi is the word understanding. This is a correct translation. That's why I mentioned before. Nus is not understanding. Nus is intellect. But Shiniemi is understanding. Shin means together. And then Hiemi. Hiemi is to send. So put it together. Put it together means understanding. Okay? Like a, you have a 1000 puzzle. So when you go to the stationary place or some place, you have those 1,000 puzzle, 2,000 puzzle, or some 100 puzzle. So you spend some time, right? And put those pieces together. And then complete. when you complete it, it shows like a, sometimes it's like a, some animals or some, some scenery and etc. right? That's the shiniemi. Put it together. Put together. Okay? That is the understand. Understand what? Pas rapas, the scriptures, scripture. So to understand the scripture. So the Christos Jesus, okay, opened thoroughly from, from the one day to the seventh day, open thoroughly their news, their intellect. Without having that intellect opened by Christos Jesus. There is no understanding the scripture. Understanding the scripture. So we have to be opened thoroughly by Christos Jesus in order to have the news, intellect. So people who got that intellect from Christos Jesus, they are noigo, opened thoroughly by Christos Jesus to receive that intellectual, then they can count. The number of beasts, isn't it? Okay. Let's go to Romans chapter 12, verse 2. We can start from 1. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Okay? And do not conform to this word, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Look at here. Here it says, renewing of your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind, right? So, metamorpho. Metamorpho. Metamorpho is, again, this is a command. Okay, command. Verb, imperative, present, passive, second person, plural. Okay? So, your living is transformed, right? It's a command. Transform, ho, anakaiosis. Ana, up, above. Kaiosis is what? New, new. So they translate renew, but this means new from above. New from above. How can you become a new person from the old person? So how can you become a last Adam from first Adam? Through Christos Jesus, right? Christos Jesus come from the heaven, right? You are 
on the earth. So in order to be born again, so the English translate born again, but Greek word is anoten, right? Anoten, ana. Anoten is from above, from above, which means born from above. Same thing, you renew, it's not renew, you become new from above, above. To nous, to nous, English translate mind again. So some place they translate understanding. Some place they translate nous as mind. Okay, this is intellect. So renewing the, renewing of the intellect. Okay, intellect. How? In order to who? In order to what? Ace to dokimajain. Dokimajo, dokimajo. Tokimajo is what? Prove. Prove. In order to prove your living. So in order to prove your living, you have to have what? Intellect. So you can transform. So you can be born, renew. You can become new from above. So that intellect, understanding, it, it says understanding here is mind, but it, it is nous is intellect intellect okay so you have to renew the intellect right so your intellect has to be changed whose intellect christos jesus intellect god's intellect in order to understand the mystery of kingdom of heaven in order to understand the scriptures okay and then next one first corinthians 2 15 1 Corinthians 2.15 We can start from 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. So what did we receive? Not the spirit of the world, but the spirit from God, right? These things we also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches. So people who receive the Spirit from God, they receive what? The Holy Spirit teaching, right? Comparing spiritual things with the spiritual. So spiritual things, understand spiritual things, right? And then, but the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. Look at the natural. Natural, that is pushkikos. Pushkikos. What is pushkikos? Fleshly man, earthly man, okay? Which is only breathing man without having the God's intellectual. So the natural man does not receive things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned? 15. But he who is a spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. 16. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Look at the mind of the Lord. See here? Nus. They translate as mind, but nus is what? Intellect. So, who has known the intellect of the Lord? Okay? So you have to have the intellect of the Lord to become what? Spiritual man. To understand Holy Spirit teaching. Make sense? So, who has known the intellect of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Again, look at the mind. Nus. So we have intellect, intellect of Christu, Christos. So intellect of the Lord is intellect of Christ. That is to understand Holy Spirit teaching. That is understand, understand the mystery of the kingdom of God. Okay. So who is a spiritual person? Who has an intellect of Christ? So they can have what? Discernment. Okay. And then 
he himself is rightly judged by no one. No one. So natural man is what then? What kind of man? The number of beast. The man of beast. Okay? That's the natural man. Then who is the man of God? Who has the intellect of Christ? Christ. Okay? That's why only people who has the intellect of the Christ, they can count the number. The number of beasts that is 666 again the number has to con number concept has to understand as a meaning concept right number has to understand meaning and in Old Testament there is 606 666 showing up the uh, forced king 1014 let's go there Uh, we can start from 13. Now King Solomon gave the queen of Sheba all she desired, whatever she asked, besides what Solomon had given her according to the royal generosity. So she returned and went to her own country, she and her servant. 14. The weight of gold that came to Solomon yearly was 666 talents of gold. Beside that, from the traveling merchant, from the income of traders, from all the kings of Arabia, and from the governors of the country. So, Solomon is very rich, right? The kingdom of Solomon is so much rich. He has what? 666 talents of gold. Every year, right? Every year. So look at the 666. Six is Sheshi. Sheshi, and then 100 is Meot, Meot, okay? and then the uh, 60 is Shishim, Shishim, and then 6 is Shishi, again, Shishi. Okay? So in order to understand the 6, which is a Shishi, we can go to the uh, strong number 8345, and then I organize on here, okay? So strong number 8345 is a shishi. Shishi means six, six, okay? And then again, that's the six is the ordinal number. And cardinal number six is sheshi, sheshi, okay? Sheshi. And then this six and six, ordinal number, cardinal number, comes from the verb Shasha, Shasha. Shasha is apparently to annihilate. Okay? Annihilate. And then another verb is shushu. Shushu is to be bright. Rejoice. Rejoice. So number six has a two different meaning. One is what? Annihilate. Annihilate means destroyed, fully destroyed, okay? Which means exterminate, exterminate. And then another meaning is what? Rejoice, to be bright and rejoice. So the sixth, on the sixth day, when I preach about the Lord's Prayer, today is the what day? Sixth day. Today is what day? Christos Jesus is born inside you. Emmanuel status, right? And then call the name Christos Jesus. So Christos Jesus is born through the Virgin Mary, Maria. Okay? And then where? Bethlehem. Okay? You yourself has the role of Maria. Maria is what? Rebellion. And then Bethlehem is what? The house of bread. And bread comes from Lechem is house of war. Okay? So you are the house. You are the house. So in order to, in order for the Christos Jesus has to be born, the seed of the word, right? The seed is the word. So Christos, Christos Jesus existing as an imperfect status inside, inside you. So you have to rebel 
rebel against your old thought in order to observe the new thought, who is God's thought. And that is the house of war. The war has to be break between what? The intellect of your thought, the intellect of God's thought. And then you crucify the intellect of your thought to become what? Renewing, right? Renewing, transforming to possess the intellect of Christ. So if you don't go to the process on sixth day, what happened? Annihilate, annihilate. Okay? You can either exterminate or you can either rejoice. Rejoice. So if he, if Christos Jesus is born inside you and grow up and to become one with you, that is the rejoicing process on the sixth day. To become the last day on the seventh day. Okay? But if you reject that process, then what happened? Like a Pharisee, Sadducee, and Scriber at the times of Christos Jesus. Their eyes is blindness. So that's why Christos Jesus says blind leads blind. And then Christos Jesus talked to them even what? You are the descendant of Viper. You are the offspring of vipers. Your father is devil. They never in doubt their father is only true God who is in heaven. But Christos Jesus declared them. Christos Jesus judged them. Your father is devil. Because they don't have the intellect of who? Christos Jesus. They don't have a news of the Christos. That's why sixth day is the critical time. Either you are exterminate or you are rejoicing. That is the sixth means. People who, who only have an intellect of Christos Jesus, they can count the number of the beast of the man, which is man of beast. That's why six is exterminate or rejoice. So go back to the, uh, the original text here. Six means exterminate or rejoice and then meot meot ot is what ot is a sign when you go to the uh, revelation uh, not revelation genesis on the fourth day sign and seasons and then and all those things on the fourth day is showing up so so me is the preposition so out of the sign okay who is the sign Christos Jesus is a sign, right? But those, uh, those people who follow the Jesus, Christos Jesus, as a multitude, they are only looking for what kind of sign? Miraculous sign. They are only looking for the miracle sign. But Christos Jesus is only talking, I am the sign, right? He himself is a sign. That's why I can only talk of the day of Noah and day of Jonah. My time, the son of man's time, is the day of Jonah, day of Noah. Same. That kind of sign, I can show it to you. Not the miraculous sign. The multitude to follow. So, out of the miraculous sign, in order to be what? Rejoice. If not, you will be exterminate. And then, Shesheim means what? That's the plural. Yod Mem is the plural. So, what kind of ministry? Ministry of exterminate or Ministry of Rejoicing. And then six. Okay. So 600 means out of the sign, rejoicing or exterminating. And then Ministry of Rejoicing and Exterminating. And then Exterminating and Rejoicing. So the men of beast, they are the which side? Rejoicing side or exterminate side? Exterminate side. So whoever has only intellect of Christ, they know that. They can count. And they can tell, oh, oh, I become, I possess the intellect of Christ. But you possess the intellect of you, yourself. That comes from who? The dragon, serpent. So the knowledge, the intellect, what you have has to be what? Transformed. 
the number of beasts and number of men, which is man of beasts, has to change by possessing the intellect of Christ to become man of God. That's why 666 is the ministry of exterminate. Ministry of exterminate and then exterminating number. That is the six. So number of beasts is exterminate. They will be destroyed. They will put it into the second death to be lake of fire. That's what it means. That's why again the number has to understand as the meaning, not as the number concept. Okay? So next class, we are keep going to study on page 6 and uh, from number 2. Okay? I will see you next class.